It's really handy for us actually, it's just down the motorway uh, and it's a really good place to walk the dogs because there's not too many people, plenty of space and the weather's always nice here for some reason. <laughs> it's obviously a beautiful setting, beautiful landscape, nice to see the deer and the house is lovely but it's also a very convenient cut through of course so that you can park and cut through from Bollington and go through the lovely parkland here into Dunham Town and then either on the cycleway or else along the canal bank, uh, bank and you're, you're doing a circuit and it's, it's very very nice. Well, we like coming because it's a nice slow walk and we get to just take our time and the deer are lovely and it's just a nice walk and a nice place to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's funny because we I remember walking around saying, oh, we're planning to have kids, and then coming around pregnant with him, and then coming around pregnant with him. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm and not then we bring him back. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and now we're, now we're bringing him back to have a good run. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're here today because it's Father's Day, and that's what he wanted to do this morning. We, come for, we came when the kids were little because it was nice to see the deer. Um, and you can walk fairly unaccosted by dogs because they're on leads usually. So that's another good thing. The house is very nice. We're members of the National Trust, so you know we come and we've been been in there a few times, haven't we? We have. That's right. We like visiting the tea room, afternoon tea. We meet the grandparents here, don't we? Meet yeah. your parents here. Go for afternoon tea in the tea. Uh, we've come to Dunham today because it's Father's Day, so we thought we'd treat Dad. Um, plus, we're National Trust members, um, so we've got membership and we've done quite a lot of the National Trust properties, but we've never been to Dunham Massey before. And um, the main reason, really, to come today was because the children really wanted to see the deer. Yeah. And what, what do you think about the deer then? Um, the nice. <laughs> Are they nice, Lewis? I like I like the ones with the white spots on them. Why, why, why do you like the ones with the white spots on? Because they're nice and colourful. Live bot. Oh, yeah, nice. they've got white spots on, haven't they? And they look like Bambi, don't they? Yeah. 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 Enjoyed it. Good enjoyed it, yes. First time we've been here, yeah. first time we visited a, a National Trust property in the North West. Yeah. Um, enjoyed the gardens. I think it's been a bit more tucked than some of the places we've been in the North East, National Trust as well. A bit bigger, more to see. I've quite liked the kitchen that we've just come out of, I thought that was fantastic. I love the baking smells. Yeah, the smells, yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been asking about the wonderful smell that is uh, coming from the kitchen, which is a, a Victorian fruit cake that is baking in the oven at the moment and is almost ready. And some of the children that have uh, been coming through have been helping adding the eggs to the um, mixture, adding the currants and raisins, all getting involved in, in the process of baking in the Victorian way. Well, I live in England since uh, October last year and Eleanor is here to visit me over the weekend and I just wanted to bring her because uh, Dunhamass is one of my favourite places. Uh, I became a National Trust member the second week I was in England and that was a good choice. I've been <laughs> enjoying visiting all the houses and parks and uh, this is just a lovely, lovely place. And she knows I do, I do love these old houses and these gardens. It's a beautiful place. We do have a weakness for uh, watching uh, period dramas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be baking scones this afternoon, so uh, tea time scones will be going in uh, later. Just to, It helps to bring the kitchen alive and it uh, the smell carries up through the house. Fantastic. So have you enjoyed your day today? Oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely seeing everybody and uh, talking to them and trying to recruit, recruit kitchen maids. It's fantastic. It's a wonderful job. Right, madam, today we're going to make a, a napkin called the Bishop's Mitre. It's very popular in Edwardian times on the table. And to make the napkin, you can just follow my example. If you take the bottom left-hand corner there and fold that to the centre at the top, and give that a nice press there. So, so have you enjoyed your visit? You told me this was your first time to the property. So it is indeed. Have you enjoyed it? The guide, <laughs> the knowledge she has of the place and the history of it, she was fantastic. Yes. She was incredible. So did you do, so you've done the, the guided the tour? Yes. Oh, fantastic. And what stories stand out that she told you about? I don't know. We lost track. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knew a lot. Didn't yeah, she it's like the way the hand down from family to family over the years and how it went sideways a couple of times and so on and so forth and how nature has changed the, the attitude of people 
has changed. Very well, well done, madam. <laughs> We're on a canal boat oh, and uh, we stopped by pure chance just down the road yesterday evening and we walked up into the village and saw all the houses painted the same and then we looked on the website and found that it was a National Trust estate so we thought we'd come spend today instead of going along the canals so we thought we'd come and have a look at the house instead. And has it been a good decision? Have you enjoyed your day here it's today? It's been tremendous. The, um We've been on two tours, one, uh, the early one around the kitchen, and that was fascinating just to get the servant's uh, eye view of the place. And then the second tour was around the house with, with a guide who was phenomenal in terms of the facts and names that she could remember and the history of the place. She was tremendous. The algorithm, I know, it, it amazes me when I talk to the room guys, just yeah. how much stuff they know. Yeah. Absolutely fascinating, really fascinating. Stories around people, so, uh, and the house is beautiful. And um, everything is so beautifully maintained and it feels very, very welcoming. It feels very welcoming. I mean, for example, just, you know, help yourself to the croquet set and go out and have a grain of croquet. And lots of things for the kids to do in the house as well, I noticed as we went round, so... Uh, yeah, I really think it's tremendous, absolutely beautiful, and the gardens and the park as well, just fantastic. We're really, really glad that we've taken a day off from our canal boating. Well, we've got some Italian relatives arriving at the end of July and I'm determined to bring them here. It's, it's brilliant. We've, we've had lunch first of all, and then we've just decided to come around the garden while the weather was nice. Fantastic. And so. you were saying before that you've been here a few times, so what keeps you coming back to Dunhamassey? Probably because it's, it's actually the, probably the closest property to us. Um, but we actually really like it. I mean, the grounds are obviously lovely. We often bring the dogs and go around um, sort of, you know, the deer park and so on. And normally we're with our son, but he's at a party today. That's why I think because it's mostly lettuce here. And tell me this is your second, second visit, visit here. Yeah. So what yeah. made you return to Dunhamassey? Well, we just found it such a nice place and just nice and peaceful, relaxing. We enjoyed it with the deer gardens last time. I mean, the last time we come, they had the motorbike event on. Oh, I love Rally. the motorbike event. And we were sort of looking, we're looking, we missed it this year. We've been on holiday, so we missed it this year. Yeah. So the daughter and the son-in-law are in the National Trust, and they haven't been before, so we said we'd have a day out and bring them down. So it's a sort of a family event sort of thing now, you know. But we joined them into it for the Christmas present. Oh, so, that's a lovely idea. Yeah, we yeah. sort of we didn't want to buy, so we thought, right, we'll, tr we'll join you in and then they can go three days out for the rest of the year. So, yeah. That's a really good one, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah. what have you been doing at the property today? Uh, well, we've been up through the deer park with the little granddaughter and then sort of just she nodded off, so we've enjoyed the gardens while she was quiet and then she's walking up, so we've been around the chickens and going around the ducks again now, so she has to be the animal, so yeah. Yeah, I found it a really nice place. It's been really enjoyable and yeah, it's a nice place. We'd come again, definitely come again. So. That's yeah. fantastic. Okay. Thank you right. so much. I won't we'll keep you any longer. Well, they, they've been a few times and they like the walk and normally they bring the, uh, the family dog and they, and they like it because all the dogs are on the lead. Uh, so they're all under control and it's a nice place to come and have a, have a walk on a, on a Sunday. Fantastic. So what have you enjoyed the most today about your visit? Well, it's the first time because we've not got the, uh, my family have not got the dog with them, it's the first time they've been able to come in the gardens. So the gardens will, is a new experience for them. So I think they're enjoying just walking around the gardens and I'm going to show them the, uh, the lake in a few minutes' time. Well, it's a nice place for children to play around and they've got beautiful gardens. So we thought it's a nice day, it's Father's Day, so we thought it'd be good to spend time with our son and with our family, with my father-in-law. And it's just a good place to be with family, really. And the food's really nice here, we really enjoy it. We've come, this is our second time we've come here actually and uh, we loved the food last time and uh, we loved it again today. And there's a lot of choice for children as well so we can all sit down, it's quite casual atmosphere. So, And uh, our son's gone and had a little run around now to the uh, vegetable plant so he's gone to water some of the vegetables so he loves doing that. That's great. There's um, a vegetable patch you can go and 
uh, water. Yeah. So what made you come to Gunnar Massey today? Well, we joined the National Trust membership and we have been to Tatton Park before and this was too, uh, you know, too close for us to miss it. And we looked at the website and the literature of National Trust and it was looking nice and uh, we, we, we definitely picked up the right place. And there's no doubt because about that. Today's today is a very sunny day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you picked the day. So what's been the most memorable thing about your um, visit today? I, I think deer. Obviously yeah. spotted. Deers and uh, that done. Yeah, deer. Oh, yes, yes. And the deer is so friendly here. If we are going in the Tatanum Park, there's you don't like the deer. You see the deer is so far and we go near and they run away. But here is you can just touch it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like so it. friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 even the yeah. deer is yeah. friendly. Yeah. 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 That's good of us, isn't it? Yeah.